What's up you guys? We're here with another exciting episode of Boozy Bros. And this is a super special one. This is the home of Asajiro Yura. He was a very wealthy businessman who actually pioneered Japan's chemical and dye industry back in the 20th century. He also had ties with the military and it is rumored to have had insider knowledge of Pearl Harbor. The mansion here was actually built in 1910 and just sitting here I'm getting the creeps. This place is super creepy. Let's go check it out a little bit. To get a walk around. Um, this house we're about to explore is rumored to be riddled with evil spirits and we fully expect to get some crazy things to happen. We're hearing all kinds of crazy noises but before I even before I even came here we actually visited a temple, uh, got some charms and uh, cleansed ourselves um, so we're really not messing around here. So Public. Tonight we're conducting a scientific investigation using some of the best paranormal equipment available to see if these rumored seven angry spirits that reside here are still lingering and most importantly if the grudge demon also known as Juan or Kayako Seki still lives here. Let's check it out. Some of you guys might actually recognize a lot of the stuff from the game Fatal Frame. This this thing goes by all kinds of different names. The Juon House, the Fatal Frame House, the Gimahuro House. Um, it has tons of tons of names. It is Japan's most haunted mansion, so I mean that's to be expected, I guess. Holy cow. Alright. That's the Jiro Yura Mansion is also known as the Mori no Hai Western Style Building, which means the ash of the forest in Japanese. What uh, the reason it's it called that is because um, back then the mansion was actually built on a former forest that got burned down by a fire. So, wow, look at these artifacts everywhere. The mansion has four floors and a basement. Uh, the first floor is the living room and dining room, which you guys are seeing right now, and and the study, which we'll go check out here in just a moment. We're going to explore before we do our investigation, so you guys can see this place. Um, it has a library, it has a lot of bathrooms, and um, the third floor is actually a ballroom and a billiard room and a bar. Um, the fourth floor is a tower room and offers a panoramic view of the surrounding area. The basement, I don't know if I'm brave enough to check out the basement, but it has a wine cellar and a sword room and a secret tunnel that actually leads to an underground bunker. The mansion is said to be haunted by various spirits. Uh, and has been known for all kinds of paranormal phenomena. Some of the reported sightings um, are of seven spirits, and those spirits are the ghost of Asajiro Yura himself, who actually appears in the study or in the tower room. He is said to be friendly but curious about visitors. I'm freaked out, but that's a tiny head. The next spirit is actually Asajiro's wife, who died of tuberculosis in one of the bedrooms, which we will definitely check out too. She is said to be sad and lonely and sometimes cries and sings softly. When we first arrived, I heard a woman's voice. I'm getting goosebumps, look at that. Oh my god, I'm, I'm creeped out, but I heard a woman's voice when we first walked in and that cut their meal. The next ghost is the ghost of Asajiro's son, who actually died of leukemia um, in another bedroom. He's said to be playful but mischievous, and sometimes moves objects and turns lights on and things like that. The next one is the daughter of Asajiro. Uh, she actually committed in the ballroom. Uh, she's said to be angry and vengeful and attacks people who scares them. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay, the next one is the ghost of a maid who Asajiro Yura's daughter actually is said to have killed in the kitchen. Um, she's said to be terrified 
and then in pain and sometimes screams and then moans. The, and then the last one, or the next one, is the ghost of the soldier who Asajiro Yura's son killed in the basement. He is said to be violent and aggressive and sometimes shoots or stabs visitors. So if we feel something, that may be him in the basement. Then there's all kinds of paranormal phenomena that happens. Uh, cold spots, electromagnetic field, orbs, shadows, voices, knocks, bangs, opening and closing doors. You name it, this, things happen, things fall. Um, lights flicker, which is insane because this place has been abandoned since 2005 and it hasn't had any electricity since then. A lot. It has this wrap. Wow. It has this wrap around for us. It's crazy. Let's go this way. Throw out. Yeah, I'm gonna fly. But now, before we get started with our investigation, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, your support fuels our quest to uncover the supernatural, and we're super excited to have you on board. Let's check it out. Come on. Look at it. I wonder if that is a Stacy. Alright, guys. We're going to kick off our investigation, but first I'd like to introduce our sponsor, Dimension Devices. Conduct your own scientific investigations with their innovative technology, the Chatter Guys Touch. That thing is super cool. It is the first world's... What was that? That's weird. It was the f it's the first world's ultra-portable paranormal device. Despite its small size, it actually is packed with tons of features and functions, plus it has a physical port for modules and all kinds of stuff. The best of all, it, like the frequent updates are all free, so you guys don't have to worry about paying for anything extra after buying it. And I am so creeped out. Um, but this tool, even better, it's not limited by language or era. It, or even historical periods, it has a huge database of all kinds of stuff. So get ready to elevate your paranormal investigations with the Chatter Guys Touch and check out the link below. Hey, pal. There's books over there. You want to see them? Let's go see the books. Wow, wow. Guys, look at this. Wow. This is rice paper. Then let me see. I wonder what these books say. Here, get a, get an image of the first thing. I wonder. I am so curious what these say. Look at these. Can you imagine? Oh, some oh. These are so beautiful. And there's several volumes. Cool. Now, as you guys can see, this place has been abandoned since 2005, but the locals will not go here because it is, it's that haunted. Look at this phone up. Okay guys, we're gonna explore the area and see what we can uncover. And then we're gonna go ahead and kick off the investigation. Wow. Whoa. Wow. It makes you wonder how much knowledge is hidden in this house and has it been touched to news. Oh my gosh, that's I think that's the kitchen where it said that the daughter just killed the maid. Oh my gosh. No. Look at the picture of this. Ah, I get you. Unopened it. I wonder what's in there. Something interesting about it. Appears to be a gift. This one of the beds in this. Oh, swag. Okay, so I'm gonna walk around using my EMF meter to see if possibly there's Maybe electromagnetic field set is one of the rumors, but check out these haunted items. Look at this. Wow. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my EMF meter and walk around. Um, the last, the last demon is of course 
or the last entity is of course the uh, Juon demon, um, the grudge demon who said to live in this house. So we better be super careful. My instincts are charged up right now. I am full of goosebumps. Um, it's it's super creaking. But let's see if I get any BMS as I walk. One's back in. It's a veil. Oh. You know, our I think is super interesting is if we find ink here, um, that's the original ink mass produced. Then Jip Chan. Because the, Ger the Germans actually wouldn't, or I think it was the Germans, or some, a country would not give Jip Chan a recipe for ink. So as a jury, you're a figure it out as well. So far, I'm walking around. Um, it's rumored that there's a lot of EMFs here, but I haven't gotten one spike which is really weird. Oh wow, there's the basement man. We can't wait this way. Okay, we're in check on the second floor. Um, we walked around what we could, but a lot of the flooring's gone, a lot of it's destroyed. Right down to that spot right there, we would fall down to the base, maybe something bad or probably have it. So, I'm gonna do that with scopes here. Right. This is the meeting room where it is rumored that discussions about Pearl Harbor and inside information about the attacks on Pearl Harbor were discussed with Ashajiro Yura. Oh, there's a big old book. In his very room. Look at this. I wonder what's in here. Okay. It uh, looks like religious, yeah, it's a Buddhist book. And also a cassette tape. Religious texts. So, in another YouTuber's video, this very book right here, they had it open and um, asked us to go ahead and flip the page. So I'm going to ask the same exact thing of if there's any spirits here at all. Um, and hopefully we can capture something similar. But it says S, brother. That is huge. Let that spooter right there. Enormous. So I'm going to go ahead and use Google Translate to ask if there's any spirits here. Um, I don't believe that spirits from 1910 would really know English, but they could. I'm not sure. But I'm not about to risk it. For science, we're going to use this. I just asked it, is there any spirits here? If there is any spirits here, can you please turn the page of this book? And I dropped by earlier. Did you see the EMF spikes? Did you see that? You're on. Looking at the camera. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. 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 That is enough electromagnetic, that's enough of an electromagnetic field for a computer. That's some high energy. I can unlock your phone with face ID. Okay, yes. So to prove to you guys that this thing uh, isn't really saying anything off, you can see this has a three foot radius. Um, 
in that went full red for no reason. I mean, I'm standing right here. It, it shouldn't be going off like that. But what I do believe is this book page being turned. Um, these windows are wide open, so maybe a gust of wind uh, made that happen. So that's I'm debunking that right there. Uh, the fact that that book page turned, I believe, is because of the windows. Look, turn around behind you, and you'll see uh, there's windows everywhere. They're all open. This is the second story above in the trees. Very, very high likelihood that it was just wind. So we debunked that. Let's go see what else this place has to offer. I'm gonna go ahead and close this book. No. Send us out. See you inside. Has a cassette tape right here. I don't know what this says, but it's something. This is a tape of some kind. There's little porcelain fingers. Look at this little book collection. Oh, wow. You were all way. Is that a Sajira Euro? Guys, this is January 1st of 1988. This is a family photos. This guy, he was a legend, so. That's incredible, I am just still on the honor to be here. But let's explore a little more. Great. So this is the observatory. You can actually see out there, um, we're very, very high up. It's a pink. It's a watercolor painting. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's a little stuffy. It's where there's a German textbook right there. Oh, really? A diamond book. So check this out. This is super interesting. It's a German book to learn German. And it's dated. Oh wow, the signatures in the back. Look guys, it's got signatures. This right here is a relic. Incredible. And lots of really old books here. Look, there's even, uh, check it out. They were clearly studying different languages. There's German, here's English words. Um, that's, I don't know what that is, but. They, they look like they were actually studying multiple languages. Um, that's super fascinating. I wonder if there's any, whoa. That was interesting. Wow, that jumped full red. If somebody is here with me, can you touch my device and make it stay full red? Let's probably not proper translation, but I'm hoping they'll get the gist of it. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna set that right there. Let's conduct another experiment. We are here at the observatory, so I think it's proper. Um, if Mr. Hero is here himself. Dude, that thing is straight dancing. Look at that. I've never seen it do that. That's a Joe's balling, bro. Dude, it's yellow. That's a lot. Okay. So we're gonna try something a little different. This is a new device. This is our Ovulus. Um, what it's gonna do, it does a series of things. It tests for, um, it responds with electromagnetic frequency, it responds to temperature fluctuations, and it responds to touch. So if something touches this, it will set it off. 
because there may be a language barrier, I'm going to set this to the emotion standing and see if maybe I can communicate with it that way. Okay. Can you tell us how you are feeling by touching this device with whatever emotion you are feeling right now? Okay, I'm going to ask, um, can you tell us what you are feeling by touching this device with whatever emotion you are feeling right now? Okay, so far, um, we've gotten very, very little contact. So far, there's been a lot of EMFs everywhere. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more, um, but so far it's very high electromagnetic frequency place. Um, what I think is really strange is this stuff stopped going off. Like this thing hasn't gone off for a minute now and it was it was dancing. It was really dancing. So I don't know if that has any significance or what, but we're gonna check out a little bit more. Um so far. The observatory hasn't given us a whole lot, just some electromagnetic frequency. So I'm going to go ahead and check out and see if maybe there's something else somewhere else as well. Let's go. So with a few YouTubers that have ever gotten to visit this place, it's only back. I know for a fault be here in one. Squiggy. Did you hear him, babe? No. A squeaky from the stairs. Or a little squeak squeak. Look at that, the supporting beam. Look, you were right to call that because look at that beam. Right there, that beam broke. So had we stepped over there, we would have fell through. Full max. We're going to take a peek over here. Was to the Okay. This is cool. I feel very heavy. My breath got taken away entering this place. So this is the very room where it is rumored that Asajira daughter Asajira's daughter killed the maid. So we're gonna find out using some paranormal equipment. If that's really your case, we're gonna ask. Then the kitchen, the very kitchen that it happened. I don't know what it happened, what transpired to make that situation happen or why that maid dive. But wow, look, there's stuff everywhere, dude. Okay, so I'm getting used to Idealis. A little sake barrel. Wow. It's full of sake, bro. Nice. This sake's gotta be all cold. And there's a Mitsubishi uh, wheel of some kind, I don't know. Let's check this out. I'm gonna go ahead. Take shit. Ah, super I hate when it said angry, but that's that should have been me. Okay. Okay, what's Okay. Is anyone here with me? If you are, can you tap this device here? Look at all the books there, Nora. I'm going to go ahead and set a cat bowl down as well in hopes that maybe that will trigger something. And then of course with the ridiculous amount of EMFs, we might as well put an EMF for your own. I'm going to say, were you killed by the daughter? I 
あなたが娘に殺された場所。Look at the EMFs. Can you touch one of these devices, please? これらのデバイスのいずれかに触れていただけますか If the spirit is here, can you show us by touching our equipment? Yeah. That EMF just keeps pumping and going. I'm, I'm hoping that someone here actually does understand English a little bit and knows a little bit about what's going on. Because they studied it a little bit, you could see proof that they did because they had the English books and everything upstairs. So, so far, this place, the rumor of the fact that it has a high electromagnetic frequency here is pretty much confirmed. This place is full of electromagnetic activity.、Um, But there's not a lot of physical activity. I don't feel、um, super afraid. I don't feel like I'm going to be touched or anything like that. But the EMF thing is super weird because this place absolutely doesn't have any electricity. I'm going to ask one more time、um, and then we're going to move on because、um, so far we're just getting EMFs. We're not really getting any responses. Angry? It just said angry. Angry again. Angry again. Bro. Bro. That's freaking me out. Okay. Are you angry with us? That's good. Scared. I mean, she was killed. Dude, remember what I said?、Um, scared again. Okay. So, that's really weird.、Um, is the maid still here? メイドさんはまだここにいるのいいサーッ Do you think she's still here? Probably Happy, so maybe she's acknowledging that Maid, does she know English? That Maybe, maybe the maid help, was helping the daughter learn English. What? That is going off like crazy. Sad again. How can we help you? I'll tell the same. Well, how would they be able to know? How can we help you? Can you move? Touch some. Okay, I'm gonna ask. God, angry again. Scared. No, it said scared again. How can we help you? Sad. Puzzled? It said puzzled. And the EMF's going off, dude. This is so creepy. Now, now what's frustrating to me is. I feel really sad. I, I really, really want to help if there's something here, but I just really don't know how, and there's not enough、uh, information in the paranormal world to help yet, and that sucks. Angry. 
happy again. Okay, guys. And I don't know if that confirms. I'm gonna shut this off. I don't, that was me touching it. I don't know if that confirms if something's here, but that is an extreme amount of activity. Um, and honestly, it's kind of heartbreaking because I would I would love to help in some way, but I I just I don't know how. That's in the nuts to me. The fact that that's been going on nonstop. That's nuts. Okay, guys. Um, this is overwhelming. This is like, this is kind of heartbreaking in a way. If there was a murder that happened here, it's something maybe lingering, and that sucks. Because I, um, I would love to get help in, but I really just don't know how. But let's move on and check out the place a little more and see. Maybe we can get some answers. I'm going to study up um, the footage really hard and we're going to get some, get something, get some answers. The, the things that we've discovered, the things that we've found, been nothing like I've ever experienced before. This has been incredible. Absolutely. About a minute. Okay. Wow. So this basement, guys, this is where it is rumored that Mr. Asajiro has killed a soldier. Um, we obviously can't traverse down there because look at it. There's, there's literally no way. There's steps missing. Yeah, it's just, it's just a big safety hazard. It looks like someone maybe attempted to use a board to get across, but we're not, we're not going to do that. Look at these. These are very, very traditional. But then look, these were from more than likely Western Euros. That could have been his wife or his daughter, but this is what she's doing. Okay, guys, I want to thank you very much for sticking around with this video. Um, we've caught some paranormal activity, but honestly, it's time to it's time to go. I feel uh, as though we're no longer welcome. We're no longer welcome. Um, we heard something crazy, a slam. Um, I I feel very very sad. Um, I I feel really weird. I feel like we do not need to be here. So um, I just want to say. Uh, to any spirits here, if you can understand me, thank you for your time, thank you for everything, and try to communicate with us, and then uh, I'm not uh, for invading the space, and I appreciate your time. And guys, as always, uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, like the video, share it, let let people know a little bit about the history of this place, um, and until next time, bye-bye.